Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I thought we would finish it off last time, but there's, apparently there's more endings than I can fit into just one episode. So, uh, this time, uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of a fuck-up. Alright, so anyways, so we're gonna do exactly what we did last time, but there's gonna be a twist at the ending. This room, but eager to get back to business... Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Yeah, come on, there we go. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Does it have a key card on it? I need a key card to get through that. But I haven't seen one, so oh well. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying that, to make was that door open before? Yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. Oh, wait, that's the door I go through. I thought I was supposed to go through that door. Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her standing. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? That That's right, I did. A choice. How did you do that? <laughs> <actually> chose incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, real quick. Oh, fuck you! It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <gasps> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Sweet! Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Uh, hi, it is 4.30 and I'm supposed to have a back sack and crack? What? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy Aww, person. Aw, look at him, his pet alligator. That's adorable. I recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Uh, who the fuck? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. 
But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Uh. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Well, it's nice they put in safety. Oh, you got the door for me. Thank you so much. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, okay. I thought that was something else there. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, now, I think there was something in this ending about what happens, which way I choose at, at this point. So, I'm going to go and check what happens uh, in the two decisions from this. Alright, so apparently, there's not too much of a difference, it's still, it'll still bring me to the same point, but... um. I think one of these brings him to a rant, so let's make him rant. I want to hear him go off all angry like. Yet there was not a single person here. Either. Wait. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Wait a minute. Shit! Did I fuck it up? I thought I said I could go whichever way I wanted. Oh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, wow, well, his office has changed. Inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, what the Stanley fuck? in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. All I can talk are in clicks. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please, speak the code into the receiver. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Well, it seems to be a problem, because I apparently do not have a voice box. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. ...is behaving exactly as Stanley would. 
That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. So, last time, he seemed to really want us to go through the, uh, the right door after that. So, let's go through the right door. No! Why did you do that? Quickly. Oh God. The other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Uh, maybe not. Hopefully. That looks that looked fucked up. Guess I can't go that way. Oh. Everything is okay. Awesome. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth it. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Eh. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To <laughs> willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Oh, God! What's that sound? Ah! That sounds so weird. You were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought had I'm to sorry. Be you had it. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Well, 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 you're not wrong. Story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Oh. So that's what I look like. Currently got a good look at him, but Hmm. Huh. story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stan, are you there? Oh gosh, now I feel bad. Hmm. That was a uh, it's pretty sad. For the narrator anyways. All right, so let's go figure out what the next one we're going to do is. All right, so we're back and we're going to be Yeah, so, anyway, so, 
Uh, we got more to do. We're gonna keep on going through the right door. So... Right, right, I know. Let's go to the lounge. Anyways, um... This way is going to be pretty quick. And then we're gonna jump right back into another one. So... Nope. Oh, shit. I almost went through. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible. Alright, so we're gonna get on the platform and oops. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I'm very powerful! Yay! <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and look for the next one. All right, so we're back again. Hey, 420. Can I go in there? No. Huh? No. No. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to make more inputs. Doesn't seem to be working. Is more to input? Hold up here. I haven't seen this and I never read anything about this. So I'm going to head back see if there's any more computers that have inputs. Anywho. Let's keep on going. That's weird. Sorry. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go through this. I'm going to head back over here. Again. And. Um, do something differently. Again. Stanley for the first but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. At some point we might go through there, but not yet. Stanley Still got more to do over here. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Boop. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can All right, so we're going to jump off onto the catwalk. I'm going to wait until it gets over so I, I make sure I don't die again. And None at all. Very. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, fuck that. I don't like red. I like blue. Huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Nope. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Oh. Stanley Aha! Went through the All right, fine, <laughs> Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you huh. were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Exactly what I wanted. The entire story I had written out specifically for you. Yes, it was. I, I put a lot of time into that because I did, and in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles, skill trees. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Hmm. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm well... looking for some real critical feedback here. Well, it is a game of choices, and the more choices, the more outcomes are possible. So I think more choices, the better. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. 
I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. <laughs> you can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Are they going to be doors all over the place? Oh, holy shit. Interesting. What the fuck? say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors well it, it honestly did i felt insulted i've got a prototype of a new game i've been working on and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing you wouldn't mind taking a look at it would you yeah sure i'd do some play testing sounds like it could be fun oh dear lord baby crawls left towards danger you click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. <laughs> I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I do not like that sound. I don't like any of these sounds. Ah, fuck this. I'm out. Burn, baby, burn. Heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? A dick is a sound. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Alright, sounds good. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, loading up some more. Okay. That's cool. Uh... Any better? At last, the one thing you've always I can't jump. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where is, where is he? This will go here. No, oh. here. And then. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah Wolf and welcome back to Minecraft! <laughs> I assume you haven't... There we go. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come <laughs> on, Stanley. We have to go mining. Diamond everything, yes. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I did not. Ooh, some mushrooms. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Shit. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. What? What? I thought we were gonna mine some diamonds. I wanted some diamonds. 
Ah, well, fuck. I guess we're done playing Minecraft. Damn. Oh well. I wonder what other game he has for us. <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. <laughs> Trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Genius. Hmm. No. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? It, it clipped through. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Uh, you know. And push. Ah, oh, fuck. Push. Maybe if I can get it to be on its side a little, a little bit. Well, that didn't seem to be too happy about that. Damn it. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Well. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Well, now he sounds exactly like a dick. Now, I thought there was a, uh, a thing that... I'd read there was a thing that I could fuck up this even more if I had taken the companion cube and shoved it into the elevator. And that would just fuck things up even more, but, uh, well... Well, I didn't read this. Um. Where the fuck am I? This looks like it'd make a great horror game. I'm kind of freaked out. I don't want anything to jump out at me. Okay, can't go that way. Uh. Oh, there's a light. Oh. Oh, those are bright. Let's head towards the light. Uh, I think my office got an upgrade. Oh, what happened? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. 
and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it, he'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Is this another thing where... Oh, oh, it just... Okay, there it goes. I thought it was going to be another one of those things where I had to actually quit the game in order to get it to work. Or end properly. Um, I think I'm going to go through one more ending, and then... I'm pretty sure there's more left, so we're gonna go through one more ending, and then I'm gonna end the video, so. Alright, so we're back for the final ending for this video, so we're gonna... ...and perhaps rain started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Oh, there's nothing on the screen anymore. Weird. Hmm. That, that is peculiar. Because... Oh. <gasps> oh! Interesting. I don't know what that's going to be doing, but I guess every time I restart, it's going to have a different thing. Uh, it's going to be in a different location, which is quite interesting. Alright, so for this ending, we're going to keep on going the exact way we did last time, but again, with a small twist. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. You are. I investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you... If I could jump, I would feel safer to jump down there, but at this point... Not Someone really. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I'm absolutely convinced. I convince you of this, but I really do. You killed me in one iteration. Show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. All right. So, but for this one, we're gonna go through the red now, door instead. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, there we go. And we're going to go through the red door. There we go. <laughs> to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't Oh happy. no. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just I wanted to stop. I would we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Um. Hmm. That's interesting. Boop. Oh, well, that was weird. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Ooh! Yeah. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this person, Ooh. I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> oh, wow, this is cool. This is really, really cool. I like, I like the look of this. Now, is he, am I supposed to just stay here? Oh, there's more things. What happens if I jump off? What happens if I go back? What happens if I just stay here until all these things go through? Decisions, decisions, and I don't know which one to choose because I didn't read this far in the type of ending we're doing right now. Um... Hmm. Anything else supposed to happen? 
Okay, we got some green lights. Hmm, let's see. Is anything else supposed to happen? Okay, so... Um... I'm supposed to go back in here. Wait, where are you going? Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Wow, you're sounding very concerned. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh. No! Ow, my oh. shins. Worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Yes, we can. There. See, this is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. I'm moving. All right, I'm gonna stop. Is this? Is this really all that happens for this? Is no restart or anything? I mean, it's pretty and all, but I mean, nothing's happening really. Well, okay. I guess we go back in. Go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Well, if I can't die, then no, I guess it's kind of fun. No, what do you do? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Do 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 Ow. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you my god? Is this really how much you dislike my game? <laughs> that you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Oh I feel bad. Kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Aw, I feel bad again. That really sucked. Oh, looks like we're starting out like this again. Alright, so... Still got several more to do, so I'll continue along with those next time, but until then, please like and favorite, please share the friends, and don't forget to subscribe and around the several, several games. Signing off!